Okay, this is going to be a very different edition of DV Tuesday. I mean, I've been collecting physical media, well, since, since, uh, since I was a kid, since I bought my first VCR. Uh, but I also, uh, before DVD, laser discs. Laser discs were really the collector's medium, the pros medium. And oddly, I still have some laser discs in my collection. Um, not very many, it's a small stack, uh, but as I was looking for DVDs to talk about, I, I wanted to throw in that uh, I still have some laser discs. Yes, why do I, why have I not gotten rid of these? I don't know. I don't even have a laser disc player, although you can pick them up uh, occasionally on uh, eBay or Craigslist. But um, this collection of, uh, from Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. It's one of my favorite um, animated films because uh, I'm a big fan of stop motion. Um, this, this film, obviously, it's a timeless classic. I mean, it basically invented goth day at Disneyland. But uh, the, <laughs> the collection has all this cool stuff in it. And so I kind of kept it just because I, I like it. It comes with a book. Uh, there's a little book in here. And uh, I don't know. I just... Why, why did I not get rid of this when I did my Laserdisc purge? I don't know. I'm just a fan, and I kept it. The other thing is, okay, this is crazy. A copy of Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. This is a Japanese Laserdisc that uh, it's, it's signed by Ray Park, actually, who, who played, of course, Darth Maul. But um, at the time when Episode One came out, and it came out on VHS... Uh, Laserdisc was really the way to experience it, especially the pod race scene, which talk about episode one all you want. I actually think that Star Wars episode one has aged better than, uh, than we thought. Uh, and, and I don't know, it's, it's, uh, the, the sound on this, I, re I recall being just amazing. So yes, I kept it and it's signed by Ray Park. That's probably why I kept it. Okay. This is an odd one. This is a movie that, um, that Roger Corman did called Carnosaur. And at the time in the 90s, when I was, uh, when I was doing Film Threat, I was on the set of Carnosaur. I, I actually have a bit part in this movie, and there's a quote from me on the back of the laser disc that says, this ain't no walk in the park. Yes, it was a dumb Jurassic Park ripoff, but so what? Uh, they built a full-size, like, 30-foot T-Rex, which was kind of fun. And then they reused the sets from Carnosaur that was, like, a scientist set, this little laboratory set. They reused it as Doctor Doom's set for the Fantastic Four. I know. Strange. Which I was also on the set for. Um, and you can get the Fantastic Four Roger Corman version on uh, bootleg somewhere. I think it's on YouTube, actually. So I just, I happen to keep this. Um, also, one of my absolute favorite films, Logan's Run. Um, the original novel by William F. Nolan is very different than what Logan's Run became, but I, I've been a longtime fan of Logan's Run. I think it was the first time I remember seeing nudity at the movies when I saw this as a kid. And uh, Fair Fawcett is in it. So if you're a Fair Fawcett fan, uh, then maybe you would love this movie. It's the one thing is, is I will say this about Logan's Run. The romance works. The music is is incredible. Uh, the music when they're in the dome cities is all this techno music. Then when they leave the dome cities, it turns into this orchestral symphony score, which is a, it's a fantastic musical score. But the one thing about this movie is the special effects have really not aged well. They're in futuristic escalators. Ooh. I mean, they shot this... They shot the interiors of this film at like a shopping mall in Dallas, Texas. But I still have the Laserdisc. And of course, I will never get rid of this. It's the Star Wars Trilogy Definitive Collection, uh, widescreen collector's edition with commentary um, by George Lucas on it. And what's interesting about the commentary track on, on the Laserdisc is that it's a mix of people. It's not George Lucas talking through the entire thing. It's George Lucas, it's Ben Burt, it's other people who worked on the film. Um, I will never get rid of these. I mean, this is uh, as close to the original editions as you could get on Laserdisc. Um, it really is like a fantastic collection with uh, a book. Here it is, George Lucas, The Creative Impulse. So check that out. Um, I'm never getting rid of Laserdiscs.